Hello and welcome back to another installment of the Craftsman Collective. As always, Rack here, and we've done we we've been a little busy since the last time. We haven't done a huge amount, but we did pretty up the sheep area, adding a nice little roof. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm content with the area, um, but you know it's something. Um, but our sheep have been putting out quite quite a bit of wool and I'm pretty happy happy about that I'm gonna give it a couple more D's I would assume and then I think we should be uh, maybe half a week or a week I think at, at the very most and probably our diamond chests are gonna be all fill, filled up but today we're gonna be looking at some of the new goodies that we have on the server uh, since last time we installed I think it's the last time last time at the time before we installed the industrial craft 2 um, I think the nuclear something plug-in and compact solars and such and we have lots of new goodies that we have to learn and, and use um, now I've used industrial craft 2 before but that was quite a while ago, and I'm not entirely familiar on all of the stuff again. So that is something I'm going to have to look into. Now, we will set up an area that has that takes advantage of some of these, um, and additional an area that takes advantage of these solar panels. Um, we what do we got? Iron furnace, Iron furnace. We got an electric furnace. Um, but one of the things, the biggest, I think the biggest thing we're missing right now. To, that's kind of slowing us down from using industrial craft is the rubber now we have no rubber um, as it we have to go find the trees we do have quite a bit of copper though uh, we've been doing a lot of gathering since the last time so we got we found ourselves quite a few more diamonds um, you know hell a lot of iron bunch of gold silver uh, we have quite a bit of copper and tin. Um, so I think we have kind of the base resources that we need to get going with industrial craft, minus the rubber for things such as wires. Um, so that's what we're going to start off the episode with today. I will be going heading out in search of rubber trees. Now, I think the best thing to do, um, instead of actually kind of going out and ooh, finding trees and rubber trees in this current world right here as I'd probably have to go out quite a distance to get uh, get new chunk to uh, generation I'm probably just gonna create a new um, a new age um, now speaking of ages we did get um, Niseros ended up going through and cleaning out all of the a lot of the old worlds so we did make ourselves a new uh, cave world um, and we're gonna have to make ourselves probably Let's see, do we have tr some type of tree forest? Um, autumn wood, birch forest, forest. I might have to go with a forest biome. Hmm. Forested hills. Do do do. Red forest. Mm. Woodlands. I wonder. Maybe woodlands. I don't remember what woodlands are. Forest. All right, I'm gonna give. Let's give this a. Let's give this a, as a whirl. Uh, let's hope woodlands is the one we want. I'm not positive, but oh, I'm, don't want to throw that. Okay, we got our descriptive book. Let's set up some woodlands. And if I remember correctly, from what I heard Nacero say, uh, go single biome. The more things you fill out on this, the less chance of having a corrupt world. So let's go ahead and get some goodies we want. Let's see. I don't think we really want any of this. Um, I'm sure we'll see strongholds. Terrain generation. Uh, the standard terrain, eternal day, weather, no weather, and that should be good. This will be 
foresty foresty all right so let's give this a whirl hope it's not a bad age and let's jump right in now as i said we're in search of rubber trees that is the big big thing we need right now and i hope we can find a rubber tree in this biome we got looks like we got wooden tendrils um i think things are still kind of loading in do we have any logs on us we don't let's grab grab a little bit of wood okay that should help us for when we have to construct our tree tap woodlands I'm hoping oh that's right I have my particle effects off let's hope that this is all not just oak trees um, I'm sorry, Ben. I can't. I can't say hi right now. Uh, it will reveal the chat, and unfortunately, the Reyes mini map is stupid in that you can't uh, hide your IP. Which I don't know why. In general, the IP is visible in the Reyes mini map. That should be one of those things where it's not, as it's can be a fairly sensitive thing for. Uh, L peers. So, uh, let's see. Where will I find a rubber tree? Um, I might keep exploring a little bit off camera until I find a rubber tree, um, and then jump back over to you guys. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, I'll be back in a second once I find a rubber tree. I'm just going to keep exploring. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll keep exploring. I'll be right back. Alright, seems we found some rubber trees. I did have to make a new world. Um, we're in just a oh, forest biome now instead of the, uh, the other one. So, with that, we are going to need a few... few things. We're going to need a workbench. And we're going to need a tree tap. There we go. And let's gather some rubber. Yeah. Sticky situation. Uh, Alright. Uh, there we go. Um, but we are going to need to... Oh, damn it. Give me my... Give me my rubber. I get it. No, come here. Come here. Oh well, I'll grab it whenever I find it. But we are going to be grabbing these rubber trees. Um, and we want to, we're also going to want to try to get some saplings out of them. That way we can set up our own rubber. Uh, kind of rubber tree farm over at the base now that is something I think we're gonna want to do is some type of tree contraption now we could use the typical forestry fashion but I don't think that's gonna be quite as fun as what we could do um, I have a few ideas um, it's just a matter of actually getting around and building them and contesting them and such um, but I think that's what we're going to want to do is set up some type of contraption that we can harvest wood with. Um, something that's not the forestry, like logger or whatnot. So we'll do that maybe next time, maybe the time after. I'm not entirely sure. It's something we're going to want to do soon because we don't really, we have a, you know, we have a handful of wood. Um, but that's something, something that's going to come in handy, especially as we start you know, pritting up our base, or if we start doing more um, projects that have aesthetic qualities to them. Uh, but 
I'm just going to try to gather a couple rubber tree saplings and bring them back to our base. And I'll meet you back over there once we have those. It might take a bit to get a few different saplings by the looks of it. So I'll catch you guys in a second and uh, we'll go over there. Oh, yeah. I'll see you in a second. All right, we're back. We got we got a few more saplings, and we got some overall some log log additions for our uh, our base. And luckily, since we do have a tree world, we can uh, kind of go back and farm trees when we need them while we don't have uh, a tree farm in general set up. But we will take these saplings out into the field right near our base. And we'll just plop them down. Uh, I think Pirco forgot to turn fire spread back on. We had initially turned it off at one point due to our spawn point being all kinds of messed up from uh, Thumbcraft magic and stuff. So we had turned off fire spread because there was just fire everywhere, burning everything down. Uh, hmm. Here and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good. So we'll let those grow for now. Um, uh, and we got a tree tap, so we can tap them whenever we need to. And we got lots of resin. And lots of logs, which the logs we can turn into resin as well, or rubber. So let's let's get down to business and find out. Let's see. We can use resin. Alright, so if we cook it, we get that. We can make sticky dynamite with it. And the extractor will give us three. Ooh. Okay, so we want to make an extractor. Let's see, extractor. Okay, extractor requires four tree taps, a machine block, which is refined iron. Now, if I remember correctly, refined iron is just cooked iron. So let's take a stack of iron since we have so much. Uh, we'll split it up between these two. Okay, so that will give us a machine block. Um, tree taps are easy enough to make. We're going to need an initial investment of rubber to make some wires. Um, we need a total of six wires. Okay, so we just need six rubber, it looks like, to make this initial investment. So let's grab... Um, oop, six of these. That will cook up into a nice batch of rubber. Some refined iron. This is gonna be a nice, nice easy process. Uh, we need five pieces to make. Actually, we're gonna need about 20 pieces. We'll just take the whole stack to make the four, four, uh, four tree tabs. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So we got our tree tabs. We have some more refined iron, so we can make a machine block. Perfect. We have four tree temps, machine block, and now we need to make an electronic circuit. We need six copper cables. We need, in okay, case so we're gonna need three, three copper. Uh, one, two, three. And can I cook that baby up? Do we not? Oh. Of course, it runs out of power right on the fifth one. But that will give us our sixth piece of rubber. Okay, okay, okay. I like where this is going. We will... 
Okay, so we got, we need the six rubber, three copper. That will give us six cables. Now using the cables, we need refined iron and two redstone. Okay, so let me grab two redstone. Okay, so refined iron, two pieces of redstone, and was copper? No, it was wait, the iron, iron, iron. I didn't grab it. No, no, what was it? Oh, her. Six of these, two refined irons, and a redstone. No, no, what am I doing? I know this recipe, there we go. Okay, so with that, we now should have the needed components to construct this extractor. Perfect. Uh, we'll head over to the build room. We'll be using this as our, ooh, as our build area for constructing our machi machines and such. So we got extractor. Okay, so it requires some type of power to extract the resin. Now I wonder if I can use, um, let's see, I think I need some power from like a pow no no battery power or something. I don't think I could put um coal or something in the bottom there. I think I will need battery. No, no. Oh, wait, that's no, melting. Um Let's see. Let's do a test. I don't think this is going to work. But what does it hurt? Okay, no. It looks like we will need power. Okay. Um, so that means we're going to need some type of power. Let's look at our mach I industrial craft machines and find out what gives us power. Probably gonna have to do something like a uh, a water, some type of water mill, maybe, to get some power. Um, maybe some solar panels. Water mill. What's a water mill? We need a generator. We need a battery. How do you construct a battery? Battery. Four tin, two redstone, and a copper cable. So we are going to need to cook some more of those. We need Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna play with this a little bit, get some stuff set up so you guys don't have to sit around and watch me mess around with all this, and then we will get we will by golly we will get that extractor working this episode, so I'll be right back. Oh man, I'm back. Um, so I tried some some water mill generators, and it's this is a pretty pretty jank setup. But I had set up a bat box connected to them, and it didn't really sustain that much. Um, then I was like, well, we need more power, so I created some generators and hooked the generators up to the bat box with the water mills. And oh man, that thing is pumping. So. We're, uh, we're cooking up our rubber wood to get rubber. Um, and we're probably going to want to make a couple more bat boxes because that is going fill that filled up fast. Um, let me see. What was the bat box again? Bat box. Bat box. Batteries. Oh. We're going to need to go back over here. Uh, we probably want a couple bat boxes. That will give us... We need 12 to get two bat boxes, so let's let's wait a second to get a couple more, um, and we'll tr probably try cooking hooking um, a couple bat boxes up together into the generator. I think that might work. Though we could probably just hook up like one, two generators into a bat box, and it would be perfectly fine uh, instead of these water mills. I think we're gonna in general need a lot of water mills. 
um, or just the wiring itself isn't that efficient so we're losing a ton of energy um, I'm not entirely sure about all of this stuff it's been I actually when I initially played the industrial craft stuff a long time ago um, I don't know if it had water bills um, it might have and I just never used them but I remember just using generators and pumping coal into it and fueling a bunch of bat boxes and stuff and as we do have the uh, wither skelly farm we do have quite a bit of coal generation and I don't think I've ever shown you guys the uh, the wither skeleton spawn so or a spawner so uh, we'll go show that in a second let's just get a couple bat box hooked up let's throw these in here we need tin okay 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 and we'll want we'll get a second bat we're gonna make two bat boxes I think okay and we need planks a ton of planks let's go with that bat box recipe perfect and we're making two battery boxes today um, there we go now let's see if we can hook these into um, the other battery box okay so we want uh, hook this bat box into this bat box okay that worked okay and we want to hook uh, that bat box into that bat box okay that didn't work let's see if I can no no maybe it's this no. Where did that rotate towards? I might have rotated it down. Not entirely sure. But we could probably get away with. Oh. Well, I lost a bit of power there. So we probably can get away with. Mm. Yeah, we'll go with three. Battery box. Okay. And. Come on, get out of the water. Quit playing in the water. Okay, perfect. So we got the three. Oh! Blah, 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 blah. We got the three battery boxes, as far as I can tell, hooked up together. Oh, that one's not getting power. Uh, is it because it, yeah I think it's because it's outputting the power like the same rate to this one okay perfect perfect and that's gonna fill up pretty fast with all the power generation we got going on perfect 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 okay we got a good extractor going getting some good good rubber I'm uh, I'm pretty excited um, this is one of those things I kind of wanted to play with quite a bit but I never really was able to that much now there is one more thing just one more thing that I want to do today before we end the episode uh, we want to make a jetpack uh, we need an advanced circuit ooh okay okay let's get our first things first we need no we have a bunch of those we need Circuit red, find iron, okay. Find find iron. Two redstone. Was it this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Advanced circuits. We need two glow two glowstone, four redstone, 
And two lapis. We need so two lapis, two glowstone. Two lapis. Uh, where am I gonna find glowstone? Do I have glowstone? Well, what do I do now. Well, that's definitely a lag. Vent circuit. Okay, so we got two glowstone, four redstone, a circuit, two lapis. Okay, that gives us an advanced circuit. Um, we also need a bat, or a bat box, which is three of those. So we need three more batteries. Okay, there we go. Let's see, it was batteries, and was it just wood? The hell were you, bat box? Okay. Okay, so we got a battery box. Oh, I threw my shit. Okay, we need two glowstone. So I'm gonna need one more piece of glowstone. I'm excited. Excited. Okay, so we need. Okay, we got a advanced circuit. We need, I think these are refined irons. We need a bat box. Two glowstone. Oh yeah. Electric jetpack. Let's head over to the build farm. And we can grab some power from our, one of our bat boxes because we look like we have a lot. Oh yeah, we have a lot. Probably off camera, I'm gonna play a little bit more with our power system, and I think, I think with this for next time, we're gonna probably want to make a more advanced power system that can store a lot, a lot of energy. So we'll probably make, you know, um, um, there, there's a bunch of larger, like, I think there's larger, like, quote unquote, bat boxes that can store energy. So we're probably gonna do um, one of those. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh uh, shit, son. Oh, uh, this is gonna be good. I'm excited now. Uh, oh man, I'm 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 super excited. This is uh I can see foresee some good projects coming out of uh, Industrial Craft 2, along with all the Red Power 2 stuff and all that. Um now I think our downfall we had with these water mills is we didn't have quite enough. We probably need um, easily double or triple this amount right here to get start getting some decent power. Um, so that's probably something I'm going to look at in the off time and probably try setting up some stuff for that. As these generators are fairly expensive. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll... Uh, We'll look in that off camera, and we'll be back next time for a much, maybe a, maybe a new project. We'll see. Maybe we could some uh, some uh, fluff and stuff uh, construction of our space. That is another thing we need to kind of get into is the aesthetics of our space, our base. Because you know, you take a look at it; it's not really that really that appeasing. This uh, this area right here is probably the best looking area in the base, other than the uh, the uh, Spunder farm, but I wouldn't necessarily say that's part of our base. We'll see. We'll see. I got to think about it on the off off time. But uh, I think with that, we will call it an episode for today. Um, sorry, sorry, we wouldn't get a huge amount done, but uh, well, uh, oh, we should be um, we should be finishing up our work at our you know our real job. The um, big milestone push is coming so once we finish that we will get back onto a consistent normal schedule and also we have the next installment of monumental victory that will be coming out fairly soon um we will be playing a map called void walker uh and you will see that i'm guessing 
maybe Monday, um, or Wednesday, most likely this week, we will put out the first episode of that, and, uh, as I mentioned in a couple of different things, it is a, a duo, uh, duo, dual commentary playthrough of, of the map, so it should be a bit interesting, as we've never done any dual commentary on, uh, on Monumental Victory yet, so this should be good. But, uh, enough with my babbling. I will call it an, an episode for today. So, as always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback, etc., 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 feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I will make sure to respond if I need to. So, with that, I'll talk to you guys next time.